Hey guys, it's Fez, and we are continuing the Quake walkthrough on the uh, hard difficulty using Quake Spasm. So we are on episode 1, mission 4, the Grizzly Grotto, so let's get to it. And one thing I just wanted to mention, I got some new recording software. I'm using OBS instead of the Microsoft Game, Game Bar recorder, so I'm hoping there's a noticeable difference in quality. So let's see what happens. All right, so right away we see some health to our right and to our left, plus some ammo. So let's get our nail gun out and grab the health, and then we're going to take out the scrag. And then there's, once the first one dies, the second one will spawn. And then I'm going to, once they're both dead, there are a couple of buttons I'll need to hit with a single barrel shotgun. One on the right, one on the left, which actually counts as a secret. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is fire about four or five grenades down there and take out the ogres. Hopefully they're dead. They look dead. Yep. Grab the wonderful armor that they're that they're hoarding. We'll go back to the nail gun. We're going to take out a couple of scrags in the pond over here. Oh my god, they don't take that much damage, but man, that was just pitiful. Okay, so I'm going to grab the health, and then there's one other scrag I need to take out, which is guarding a secret. Alright, so he's guarding some rockets, so let's go down there and grab them, which is our second secret. Alright, now we're going to use the grenade launcher and flush out a couple of fiends, if I can help it, before I blow up in my face. Oh my goodness. Alright, well that's not too bad, all things considered. Okay, I don't need the health right now, but I will grab their ammunition. And with that being said, I'm going to go back in uh, the other side where we got those two scrap, uh, technically three, I guess. There's a bio suit which I like to grab, and then we're going to dive back underwater. We're going to dive straight down, and then right here is an opening, and there's a 45 degree angle ramp, so. I'm going to use my nail gun and I'm going to take out an ogre who is guarding a super nail gun. I will demonstrate his power shortly. Yeah, that ogre didn't stand much of a chance there, did he? All right, I'm going to go back to the uh, double barrel shotgun and we're going to take out a couple of knights. And I'm going to flush out an ogre here before he kills me. I think he's dead. All right, and I'm going to go down here before I forget and get some nails. All right, so over here where this pond is, there is an ogre. So let's take him out with the super nail gun. He shouldn't be able to retaliate. Yep, there we go. And there are a couple of uh, knights. So I will flush them out with uh, a couple grenades and go back to the double barrel shotgun. All right, grab some health, and I'm going to take out a trio of uh, knights. Nice. Okay, and I will save my grenades. I'm going to use the super nail gun on... Yeah, there he is. He's dead. Okay, and I'll take out the regular nail gun. Grab the nails down there, and then we're going to push this button and take out some knights and a couple of scrags. Scrags get priority because they are not they um they are not melee. They have a ranged attack. Okay, and then I am going to use my grenade launcher and flush out an ogre. All right, that oh what I thought he died. Okay, well that didn't quite go according to plan. All right, so I'll use the super nail gun. Take out a scrag. Okay, there's normally an ogre here. I don't know where he went, but whatever. All right, take out my regular nail gun, turn around quickly, go behind these doors, and there's two more scrags, which should follow me. All right, so they're dead. All right, so now let's go down uh, where we killed those two fiends. We're going to grab their health because I need it now. I don't know if it's 15 or 25, but regardless, I'll take it. Nice, a cool 20. Oh, there's an ogre, which I will take out too. 
Nice, kablooey. All right, so nail gun. No, uh, yeah, I'll use this, this uh, double barrel shotgun on the night. And then I will fire a couple of grenades here and take out an ogre. Polish them off with the super shotgun if I need to, which I don't, thankfully. I'll hit this button on the floor, which reveals some wonderful armor. But first, I am going to throw a couple grenades down the stairs and take out an ogre. So that should do the trick. Well, I guess not. I'll just use the double barrel shotgun on him. All right, grab the armor. There are a couple of scrags, so we'll just use the regular nail gun on them. All right, so they're both dead. Now I am going to use the super nail gun on the ogres over here, and then I'll grenade the other guys over here. So now we have approached that health. Because it's not at a good angle to use grenades over the ones on the far ledge. And I didn't think they had the reach for that, but I guess they did. All right, so now I'll use the grenades on these guys. I think about four should do the trick. Oh, nice. Deliciousness. All right, so I will go back to the super shotgun, and I'm going to take the lift up and take out about five-ish knights. Four, I guess. Ride the lift down. Uh, I guess they're not going to follow me down, so I'll just take the lift back up. Okay, and I'll just wait for the lift to go back up. Okay. Now, there are a series of buttons we need to press. Um, I don't think there's a specific order. They just need to be all pressed. All right, there is a, a fiend down there at the bottom of the stairs. They don't do the best navigating stairs, thankfully, so... All right, and there's a couple of secrets. Not necessarily secrets, but they are part of... They do reveal a secret eventually, so... For right now, I'm going to continue up here. Um, I'll grab those nails. I'll need them for sure. And I'm going to fire a couple of grenades. Take out a couple of ogres, and I'll use the super... Oh, come on. Okay, so they're dead meat. Running low on nails, though. Grab your rockets. Grab some health. All right, and over here on this other side, um, there are a couple enemies. I think a knight and an ogre, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. All right, oh, scrags. Hate scrags. Just die! Scrags suck. Okay, that should be all the... Oh. Well, I, I guess not. All right, I'm starting to kind of get a little low on health, so let's double back up and grab some goodies in the room um, with all the spikes. So um, I'm going to grab the shells. Not that I really need it, but I'm not coming back. So Okay, here is the first part. We'll come down over here, grab the health, which I will gladly take. Hit the button over here. Now be careful here, This um, both pools on each side of that walkway are poisonous, so just an FYI, you will take damage. Hit the second one. All right. Um, all right, I think that's about everybody. All kills, um, just need one more secret. All right, so we're gonna dip down under here. All right, so over here, a passageway is revealed, so we'll swim up. Got the secret area. We got the grenade launcher and some health. And uh, this is to the secret level. So let's uh, exit and call it good. All right. So that's uh, Grizzly Grotto. So yeah, it's um, definitely a challenge. Um, lots of ogres in some pretty well-placed areas. I dislike scrags immensely. I hate them. So I try and prioritize them when I can. Um, the knights, they're placed in places where they can close the gap pretty quickly. And um, thankfully, there's only a couple of fiends, but mm, they're a pain in the butt. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely getting more challenging. So uh, that's about all I have to say about this one. It's progressively getting harder. Uh, but thankfully, you got some nice equipment to take it out. But I unfortunately ran out of my armor. So at least I got 100% health. So I can't complain too much about that. So, all right. Well, we'll do the secret level. And until then, take care, everybody. God bless.